Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. It is one of those Texas chilly mornings. Um, guys, I, I heard something this morning and I wanted to do a video on this as quickly as I could because this is a pretty important topic. And you know, one of my rules of repair is that image is everything. And a lot of people just don't seem to understand that your own words betray you. They betray your image right off the bat and they take away from your credibility. And a lot of people just don't understand that dynamic. So let's go ahead and talk about the words, I think. I think when it comes from the mouth of leadership, it's toxic. It opens the door for doubt. It's one of those things where when you're sitting at a group and somebody says, I think this, or I think this is the way it should be, um, it leaves the door wide open for a lot of things. Now, it, you don't need to know the answer. That's why you pay other people. You know, that's why you consult experts, or that's why you come together as a group, as a team, and you come up with a solution. It's because you don't have to know yourself. But the words, I think, when it comes from the mouth of leadership, it's toxic. It's not good. When the words, I think, come from the mouth of a technician, it depends on the context. If somebody asks you, what do you think is going on? And you respond, I think this, or I think that, not so bad. But be aware that when a technician says, I think, and you don't, you don't phrase it correctly and you don't do a, a successful follow-up on that phrase, it leaves the door wide open for uncertainty. And if you are uncertain with what's going on with their medical equipment, you're now part of the problem and you are not credible in their eyes anymore. So instead of using, I think, I encourage people to use words like, I believe, like, I believe that this is what's going on. You can say things like, I, uh, I observed this, or I've witnessed this. You can even say, I've seen this in the past. But uh, using the words, I think, think about the context, does matter. Now, you can say, I'm not sure, or I'm not certain, because that's fine. Uh, it's actually better for you to admit the fact that you don't completely know the answer than to try to BS the people that know the equipment quite well, like doctors and nurses. It's never a good idea to BS your way through something. It's okay to say you're not sure, but you have to follow it up. Follow it up with something like, let me talk to some engineers I know, or let me go consult my peers, or let me go do some research. But always follow it up at the very end with one famous sentence, let me get back to you on that. So, it would go something like this. I believe this is what's happening. I've observed this, this, and this, but I'm not completely for sure. Let me go consult my peers and do some research. And is it okay, Doc, if I get back with you on this? Here, can I get your email real quick? And I always keep my infamous little notebook with me so I can write down his email. Or if you got his last name, you can just look him up in the global. And if he says, yeah, sure, please, they'll appreciate the fact that you're gonna follow through with it. And you know, the effort will not be unnoticed for the department. So guys, instead of using the words, I think, try and change your frame of mind a little bit. And if you ever are going to use the words, I think, there's always other conjunctions and other, other sentence fragments that you should include along with that. Always tell them that you'd like to get back with them if you are unsure of the outcome or of a specific answer. Okay? Think about that, guys. Thanks for watching.